Hello and welcome back to another episode of Infinity Factory. Where we only have these two puzzles here left that seem like I think that's what he said, right? Those two, yeah, we're done with the experiments. Now we actually now actually we are at the highest part of this mission. We're stealing stuff. Oh that's cool. Can I talk to them? This is it, your big moment. My big moment, sweet. Can I talk to this person? No. Don't think so. Alright, so they're teleporting me in and I'm stealing this drone. Great. Alright. Kill a bunch of aliens. None of them seem to have any audio logs or anything that I can interact with. Just quickly check that out, just to make sure. But I doubt there will be anything. I was where to get the food from. Interesting. Oh yeah, and this, I built this one. <laughs> what else did I make here? Did I make any other furniture in here? I don't think so, actually. Alright, so we need to disassemble and reassemble this drone thing. Oh man, that's gonna be annoying. Don't really know what the best way to do this is. Um, already I could save stuff. <laughs> uh, like this, right? Okay, uh, I wonder if there is a good way to do it like I did it previously, um, which, well... Ah, oh, this is actually... I should just keep it up, right? Because I'm already up. I would be stupid not to keep it up here. Yeah, okay. We'll do this, and then we'll just... Can I go back any further? No. Okay, whatever. There we go. Alright, so... The question now becomes, can I do it like I did it with the with the last thing that we did, the 3x3 three three thing? Where I, where I, you know, go back and forth to get everything in? Or can I not do that here? It's an interesting question. I probably would want to start with this actually, so I would maybe want to move it over one. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm trying to think this through and I, I'm struggling. That should work, though, right? Yeah, and then obviously I can get rid of some of these pieces as well. Again. Yeah, so we want this to go through, and then we want... We want it to go over one, and back. And then we want it to go over again. And back again. This is not gonna work. But let's see where exactly it fails. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't go far enough. So we go over here. Maybe? Still doesn't do it because there are yeah there are too many going this way right 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 so we actually go over one more right and then turn around is this gonna be enough only a lot of trial and error here I mean that's something it's not perfect is this gonna interfere with it Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna fall, right? Yeah. But it actually works already, which is very interesting. It does work. <laughs> There's no denying that. It's a bit weird because the sequence is slightly off. But I think that maybe we can fix that on the other side. I don't know. So the first thing we get over here is something we, yeah, we just need to weld together. Which is fairly easy to do. But then the then the next thing needs to go over to the side and be assembled differently. So I don't know how I'll do that. Because it goes no more block, no more block, no more block. I think this is fine, and then this obviously isn't. Could I have a pusher here? Actually, I could have a pusher. Hmm. I don't know how this really works yet. I've never really made anything like this, so I don't know. But if I have uh, if I have a pusher here, and I attach a conveyor going this way to it, and then I also have a pusher over here to push it back, because these aren't like sticky pistons, so I can't like pull it back. I could just have this weight here, and as long as there's something here. This gets pushed out, but this is too far away. Right, this is gonna be the problem here. Like this is the distance is too big. Because this is already here. And actually, yeah, it doesn't even push it out because this is constant. It's too fast. My input here is too fast. I can't really do it like that. I could have it. I could just have it down here somewhere, right? I could just push this thing and have a conveyor going this way. I just put it here because I don't know how far I am already with the, with the stuff. This might even not be. Ah, this should be okay, I think. If it, this is not okay, then I have a problem <laughs> anyway. Oh, this is two blocks now. I can't push that far. I forgot. Ah, that sucks. That's disappointing. Because this doesn't... Yeah, I can't push two blocks. So I can't push like that. So how do I get these out? I don't really have a good way. This might be too fast. I might need to slow down the other side because I, I can't think of a way to do this. Or I just don't assemble right away. I just start sorting first. I could start sorting. Really, that would probably be the best way to do it. Let's just think about this a bit. So instead of going here, we just take it on a loop here, and then I just do something stupid like this. So one, two, three, then I get the next three, 
And I get one in the top part, and then the last... Wait, how many pieces is it? <laughs> it's 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, right. So this would be the first side part, and I get these three, which are the middle three, then I get the top part, which is out of order, kind of, and then the one that goes below it. And I can turn that around properly, and then I need another three for the last part. So I could do something like that. Um, Yeah, and then, I mean, this is not very effective or efficient. It is probably effective, but I would have to have, like, these guys are right here, and then trigger this on the last one, and push them more out, and then assemble it and put it over there. But I don't know if that is fast enough, because this takes a while. But I guess the input is really fast. Hmm. Can I somehow cut this down? Because this and this is the same. And I guess this bottom part could be the same as well, but I would have to sort out two blocks in between there, and I don't think I can do that. It's 11. And this is the fifth block. No, it's the seventh block that I get. So there's six blocks, then there's this one, and then there are only four more. I don't think I can sort that out in an easy way. If it, yeah. Hmm. Well, if it was an even split, I could, but not like that, I guess. And then this would be not that bad, I think, because I would just have... Like I could just have... This here, basically, and then this takes it out. That's the first, that's the, that's one of those. Then the next one are, well, the next one, the next three. Wait, so th those are the last three. <laughs> and then it's, all right, so this one is the top piece, right? Yeah. So I would just pull them out or like this, I guess. Then I could assemble them here. Not sure if this is smart or not. Actually, can we do it from the side? Yes, we can. And then I could just go this way. And then we need to drop this one and this one in the opposite order. So this one needs to be first. This is a very stupid way to do this, but I'm committed, I think. <laughs> it's too late now, I can't stop. Um, so this goes back here. It's actually slightly in the way like that, but I think we can deal with that if you just pull these guys back and out like this. I need to go on the other side anyway, so... Should be fine, I hope. So these three get assembled here. Actually, I don't think I need this one, but whatever. And we push it over here, it goes all the way over here, and then it's here, one, two, three. And then we want this part to go here first, and then this one we want to go there second. Which is slightly stupid to do.
because it'll be at the same time and it's gonna be beer to deal with. Actually, we can just have. a pusher here. and a pusher on this side, right? Hmm, is this gonna work? I wonder, I don't know. And then we need to detect on this side to here. So this is gonna go up here and then it's gonna get pushed here and this is gonna push it over. Getting this to move is gonna be a pain because I can't push it at all, I believe. No, I can't. Yeah, this is gonna be weird. Don't know how to do that. And then the, this one goes up and gets detected on this side, I guess. So this is gonna go up, this is gonna extend and drop it, and then this the next one is gonna extend, push it here, push it out here, and it's gonna extend as well, and it'll be right here and here. Which is what I want. Oh, they might not be facing the right way. This might not be facing the right way. I have to see it now. Oh, this is not... I didn't clean this out. Oh yeah, and I didn't trigger this at all. <laughs> so we just put a trigger thing right here and then that just... Goes all the way back there, right? Is it gonna work? I'm not sure now. What did that build? Uh, this is okay, we can rotate this later, but this did not get peeled. Oh, this is the way, right? Yeah. Was that the only reason that didn't work? Why is this too fast? No, see, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, this is not fine. Oh, this is too high up. <laughs> ah, I'm blind. Apparently, I didn't see that. I didn't really look at that at all. Like, this was, this was too tri trivial for me. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to it at all. <laughs> Which is stupid in hindsight. Actually, can I just attach it here and get rid of these two? Makes it easy to see what's going on. So that does work, it's just impossible to move it now. Because we get one, two, three, then we get this, and then we get that, and it takes a little while for that to happen. And then I can't really push out from here, can I? I could have a pusher here to push it that way, and then pull it out here. But where would I trigger that from? This is the last piece to get there, but if I trigger it too early... I wish I could, I could delay stuff somehow, because this is just gonna mess it up now. Because it's gonna push out the one piece that needs to go here. Uh, which I guess I could avoid this by doing this. gonna work? <laughs> I'm not sure now. Because these connect together, I don't know if that's a problem or not. Let's see. This is a very weird way to do this. Wait. No, I need to be even lower than that. I need to be here. Right, right. I did, I did not see what happened there. It did not make sense in my head what I saw happening. Come on. 
takes long for the input to come in. Oh, I guess this is too early now, right? Yeah, this is too early. Uh, yeah, it's just too early. We have one block. That's really annoying. I can't tell you how, mu how much it annoys me. Oh, that still wouldn't work, though. My... Yeah, this wouldn't work because I can't weld this now. Hmm. Actually, let's put that on the other side, but it's less annoying. Oh, but it's gonna trigger that. Right, that had a reason. Okay, so it has to be here, I guess. Hmm. Because I still can't detect down, right? Oh no, I can. What am, I, what am I saying? I can. I totally can. That cleans that up a little bit at least. We could move that too. So how do I slow this one down a bit? I really can't. And I can't speed this up either, right? No, it's just gonna take too long. And if I move this one up. I don't know. What is the, what's the exact timing here? I mean, I think, but let's just do this again. And ignore the rest of the problem for now. And then we do this, just to avoid that being connected, right? And let's see, how much better is the timing like that? Is it much better? Because this, I don't know how quick this goes back. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. I wonder if I could do it with a blocker somehow. I also need to weld stuff here, so let's just make that happen. Uh, right, right. Um, and I just need to... So this would extend if there's nothing here. So it's too far away. It needs to be here. This extends as long as there's no signal. Um, which means we need to give it a signal while there are blocks up here somehow. Can I do that? Is this gonna be this is gonna be too soon though, right? If I like if I go up here, this is gonna be yeah. No, this is not. I need to see it not work though, just to make sure. But I'm very sure that this is not gonna work. What? Oh yeah, this is not... Uh, we need to connect it to this one as well, I guess. Uh, which is stupid to do. I'm just gonna push it out now, right? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> that does work. Which is interesting. Uh, let me just need to go here instead, I guess. Does this actually work now? 
it goes too far uh, because of No, this can't be here. Ah, how do I avoid this problem? I don't think I can. We'll ignore it for now because I think I can fix it anyway. All right. So that, then, I mean, this is all very ugly and not effective. Or not, I keep saying effective today. Not efficient. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a beautiful solution. Not by a long shot, but it is a solution, so give me a break. Alright, uh, so this thing... Which way is it facing now? I forgot. That was the only thing I needed to know now, and I don't. It is facing the right way, actually, yeah. That's good. So we just put it back here somehow, and then we... Come together right here somewhere. And then I don't know what we do. <laughs> uh, like this, and then we need to weld it from the front. And then I need to push it out over here somehow. Don't know if I have enough space to do that though. Oh, and this is obviously wrong. I forgot about that. This one is right. This one is wrong. Oh, but this one is wrong too, because <laughs> now it just goes straight here. It needs to go... Leave me alone. So what's the last piece to arrive? It's probably the middle pink the middle thing, right? Uh actually no, it's this part over here. Which is interesting. Um And also slightly annoying because it's on the wrong side. Why does this take so long? This is the last thing, right? It's almost simultaneously, okay. Either way, so we need a detector here, and as soon as this is here, we just... We push, but where? <laughs> I guess I have to push this way, but this is not going to be good enough, is it? Or is this going to be super annoying to connect, because this is three blocks tar? Wait, is this too high now? Two, three, no, this is right. And it gets pushed over here, but then this is going to just pull it back, and I can't have these here, because that's cause it's going to take away my piece when it comes in here. So how do I do that? Oh yeah, and I can't push there either. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even see that. I didn't even consider that. So that's very annoying. Uh, I need to drop it. I need something to be higher up than the other things, I think. It's the only way I can do this. Unless I can do something stupid like this, actually, maybe I can. Let's see. If I have it here and put this on top, does that move with it or does it not move? I don't know. I don't know enough about these things. It's annoying.
Actually, we would want this to be... Let's see if that, if that does anything. I don't think it will, but it might. It might surprise... No, this is two blocks again. I can't do it like that. Like this, maybe. But I'm not sure if this is gonna get pushed with it now. No, it just doesn't. It can't. Okay. That would have been too sweet if that was a thing. Well, I guess I can detect over here, maybe. push that. Ah. What can it push? I st I'm still very unsure about the rules of this then. I thought I could push this. Can I only push conveyors? That's not good enough. <laughs> That's really not good enough. But it does should, yeah, it doesn't move it, right? There was no other reason. It's not attached. Well, I guess it's attached to these blocks, right? But how do I avoid that? Can I avoid that at all? I, I mean, I can get rid of this one. Can I get rid of this one? Not really. Let's see if it's gonna push it now. No, it's not attached to anything. But I couldn't push it back anyway, which would be a requirement to set it, so... No, it doesn't matter. That's so weird. Okay, whatever. How do I make this happen then? I can weld from the top. Yes, I can. Why do I not do that? I still couldn't go out the front door. But I could maybe do something like... This? Wait, no, this is not where this is. Where is this? <laughs> this is here. have a detector here and then as soon as this is done I push it out one oh, but I can't push from this side because that's in the way that's annoying I need to move this in a different way we move it in here and then we turn here at the last second And then we can have a... Uh, no, we still can't have a pusher here where I would need it to be. I could have it... here. Does this work, first of all? Let's check that. Ah, this episode is running long again. See, that does work. And then I could have... Oh, but I would have to detect this from the top instead, right? Yeah, otherwise I'm not gaining much wrong thing. This is what I wanted. Because now I can go out here here. Uh, so this gets pushed over by one, which means it's here. And it just put this one No. <laughs> Keep doing the wrong thing. Here. gonna go right away I'm never sure <laughs> doesn't matter um, and then we just weld from the top over here I 
I have no idea what this is doing now. Let's test it. So this works. Then this part works. This part works. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. <laughs> and then we just go over here and... So wait, which part is this moving? This is moving the middle. So it's on the middle here. Then it goes here and then just go over that, right? <laughs> and it's on the last ones and it goes over here. And then it would drop right here and instead we just move it like this. Is that right? I I, I don't know why, why I still struggle with this part of, of the, the puzzle solving process here in this game. But I do. But this is right, yes. And I could save some things here and there and somewhere else here. But in this one I really don't care about the block count, because this was much more about the solution than it was about that. I just felt like the the previous puzzles here, the experiments were rather easy, so I felt compelled to try and optimize them at least a little bit, but this, with this one I'm okay actually. Um, it's not a very elegant solution, but it's, it's an interesting twist, I guess. We've never done anything like this, really, where we uh, line up the pieces and then sort them out before we, before we assemble, I guess. So that's pretty nice. Um, we did it on the low cycle count, which is nice. I don't think I could handle a higher input rate though, because it just doesn't it's not fast enough for that, I think. You know it's pretty fast. I don't I don't know how you get that that much lower. I don't really have an idea for that. Block and, and, and footprint I, I have some ideas of how you could reduce that, but it's not really worth it. <laughs> This is it for today though, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time, bye bye.